वेलकम टू इंडियन अकाडमी फर् आल प्लीज सब्सक्रैब टू मई चानल फर् लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स आफ्टर सब्सक्रिपन यू विल गेट बेल बटन प्लीज प्रेस दट बेल बटन यू विल गेट आल नोटिफिकेशन थैंक यू trees passing and frequent crossing of road should be avoided what is the meaning of that see we have to avoid the uh, crossing of roads for example if the road is there so we have to avoid the, to take the readings like this right clear because if we will take like that um, that may be problem while calculating the length right so if the trees are coming while uh, taking the measurement also that we that make problem for for us so we have to avoid that as possible yes right next operations in chain surveying <clears throat> what are the operation we have to do for chain surveying so here we require the following operations to do chain surveying first one is chaining next one is arranging next one is offsetting so if we will do these three operations simultaneously we have to do for chain surveying right what is the three operations chaining ranging offsetting right clear next so how we are doing chaining chaining so we have to do chaining on a level ground otherwise we can do chaining on a slope ground right clear so two cases will occur here we want to do chaining on level ground otherwise we want to do chaining on a slope ground so here first we have to discuss about a uh, chaining on a level ground this method of taking measurement with the help of chain or tape is termed as chaining so here what is the meaning of chaining simple so here the method of taking measurement with the help of chain or tape is termed as chaining so many people will confuse in the definition of chaining chaining means with the help of chain we are taking measurement then that is known as chaining so here chaining involves following operations so first we have to fix the station next we have to unfold the chain next we have to take a ranging means we have to establish the intermediate points next we need measuring the distance right along the survey line along the survey line so after completion of these all steps we have to fold the chain again right clear these three or four steps we have to follow simultaneously then only ch the chaining will the procedure will we can do next so how we are fixing the station so stations are first of all marked with the pegs and ranging rods to make them visible right so so many points are there on the ground so we cannot see all the points so first we have to mark with the pegs or ranging rods and ranging rods right next unfolding of a chain so see first how we are doing the unfolding of a chain see what is the meaning of unfolding opening opening of a chain opening of a chain right so for that what we want to do for that what we want to do first we have to uh, unfasten the strap right maybe the chain is folded right that may be strapped that may be strapped with any uh, wire so we have to unfasten that and the two brass handles are in the left hand keep in that mind this is most important so two brass handles we have to take in the left hand and the bunch is thrown forward with the right hand keep in that mind left hand the brass handles are there right so right hand we with the help of right hand we have to thrown the bunch of chain forward in the forward direction right then one chain man moves forward by holding the other handle until the chain is completely extended clear one person will move forward direction up to the up to the extended means how the chain is uh the chain is completed right clear next right so here we are fixing the stations right 
clear corner of the building like the later we will see right 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 unfolding of your chin we have to take these two brass handles to the left hand next we have to take bunch of a chain with the right hand then we have to thrown with the help of right hand right next ranging what is the meaning of ranging already we saw the process of establishing intermediate points on a straight line between two end points is known as ranging so here what is the meaning of ranging the process of establishing intermediate points on a straight line between two end points is known as ranging ranging must be done before a survey line is chained right then only we can do uh, chain next what are the signals or codes required in ranging see this table is most most important for uh, theory exams they will ask what are the codes required for ranging otherwise otherwise in competitive exams also they will ask what is the signal by surveyor and what is the meaning of that they will ask right look here signal by the surveyor next meaning of the signal to the assistant means assistant wants to do that right see here surveyor is rapid sweep with right hand if the surveyor is with rapid sweep with right hand rapid sweep with right hand right so what is the meaning of that so here the assistant move considerably towards the left towards the left of the assistant right clear next slow sweep with the right hand then move slowly see here slow slow right clear move slow slowly towards the left clear next right arm extended continuously move towards left if the right arm extended by the surveyor then the assistant must be move towards left clear opposite next right arm up and move to the right then plumb the rod towards the left plumb the rod towards the left clear next <coughs> right arm up means so if the right arm is up then then the plumb the rod towards the left see if we will move to the right then we have to left we have to move to the left the rod may be moved to the left next already we saw rapid sweep with the left hand move considerably towards the right slow sweep with the left hand move slowly towards the right clear opposite next left arm extended so here continuously we have to move towards the right clear left arm up and move to the right then plumb the rods towards the right clear next both hands above the head and brought down then the ranging is correct so this is most important they will ask exam this one only both hands above the head both hands above the head then what is the meaning of that so here ranging is correct right next both arm extended horizontally and brought down both the arm extended horizontally right and brought down quickly then what is the meaning of that fix the ranging rod both arm extended horizontally and brought down then fix the ranging rod clear this table is most important right some books are given uh, right right that is wrong compulsory wrong because in all standard books they given right then left you have to move to the left right so follow this only right next ranging <coughs> ranging means the process of establishment of intermediate stations or points already we saw in the previous video right next measuring the distances survey line means along the survey line so here two persons are required in this operation that is leader and follower so here how we are measuring the distance from a to b so for that definitely we require two persons one is leader and another one is follower keep in that mind 
this is also important the chain man at forward end of the chain who drags the chain forward is known as the leader clear so who who is the forward end definitely leader only right if the leader is in forward end then only he called as a leader right clear mm, right next who drags the chain forward direction leader only why look here see this is a this is b i want to calculate the distance from a to b so here chain may be here for example so here leader and here follower so here leader must be move in this direction right so leader wants to drag the chain in this direction right clear leader wants to drag the chain in this direction see drags means he takes the chain in the forward direction clear next the chain man at the rear end of the chain who holds the zero end the chain at the station is known as follower right because <coughs> because see this is a this is b right for example right so here see if we will move like this right so here follower may be here leader may be here who, who is at zero who is at zero follower only the follower only zero will be stuck because this is a complete chain length value from here to here right so who is at zero end zero end may be always <coughs> follower right clear this is also important term right right this is the field book after putting the values we can observe like this right next <coughs> to chain line the leader moves forward by dragging the moves forward by dragging the chain line and taking with him ranging rod and ten arrows keep in that mind see the leader may be taking the ranging rods and ten arrows right the follower was collecting the all the arrows later right clear next when the chain is fully extended the leader holds the ranging rod vertically at arm's length the follower directs the leader uh, leader to move his rod to the left or right until the ranging rod is extensively in the line clear then the follower holds the zero end of the chain by touching the station peg clear the leader stretches the chain by moving up and down with both hands and finally place it on the line he then inset an arrow of the ground end of the chain and marks with the cross right simple see a to b i want to calculate right so here one person is leader one person is follower so leader must be at forward end right clear the follower must be at rear end right so here zero will be started with the follower only right clear so here leader <coughs> with the ranging rods and uh, arrows so after completion of one chain the leader will put ranging rod or arrow here right so then then what will happen so here arrow will put here right so what will happen so one chain will be completed next he move continuously towards the b b direction only right see clear again he put the one peg right again he put the one peg like that like that up to the target he goes like that only right clear the follower should be collect all the arrows right clear next right so same procedure what i told all or this here right if you want please pause the video and take all notes <coughs> right so this is the rod <coughs> this is also rod this is the forward ranging on a level ground right clear this is the one chain this is also one chain this is also one chain this is also one chain like that clear next folding of a chain so after completion of the uh, chaining so what we want to do we have to fold the chain so what is the procedure to fold the chain so for folding also we have a 
procedure right so here to fold the chain a chain man should move forward by pulling the chain at the middle right clear so we have to take the middle of the chain then the two halves of the chain will come side by side means the handles may be uh, one side right clear after this commencing from the center position of them two pairs of links are at a time with the right hand and placed left hand alternatively in both the directions finally the two brass handles will appear at the tap the bundle the bunch should be then fastened by the strap strap means any wire right so what is the, what is that simple see for example this is the chain right so we have to select uh, we have to take the middle of the chain right so what will happen so here uh, the links may be uh, folded for example one link next another link will be folded another link will be folded another link will be folded then what will happen finally we will we will get the two handles at the at the uh, at the one side means above above we can observe right clear in this way we have to fold the chain so finally we have to strap the chain with the any wire or any fasten right clear next look here right this is the fasten right clear so here both handles will come at top clear 